Right now, a strong hurricane is wreaking havoc on open water in the Atlantic, and even though it's a fish storm right now, we need to be keeping our eyes on this. Unfortunately, it seems more likely that the U.S. will see significant impacts from this storm than what we first thought, even if we don't see landfall directly in the U.S. Let's break down the two situations we have at play right now. Situation 1, we see Lee slowly drift off to the west, and we see a hurricane make landfall somewhere in the northeast U.S. We would see the normal hurricane impacts in this region, while the rest of the east coast would likely see enhanced tides, very concerning rip currents, and possibly even storm storm surge of up to a foot or two. Situation 2, we see Lee continue northward, never making direct impact to land, yet still causing stronger tides, concerning rip currents, and possible storm surge. Now, which of these situations are we expecting? According to the National Hurricane Center, we're still in a position where we don't know exactly where this storm is headed. I personally believe we're going to see some sort of enhanced impact in the U.S., whether we see a hurricane skirt along the coast or it make direct landfall somewhere in the northeast. When it comes to events like this, we like to look at model trends instead of single model runs in order to predict what could possibly possibly happen. Looking at multiple different models, we can see that more and more have been pointing to some sort of westward turn towards the end of Lee's life. Now why is this happening? Last time I posted, we were expecting the jet stream to do something a little bit like this, but this is no longer what we're expecting to happen. Back to the GFS here, we can see that this trough that was once expected to push Hurricane Lee off into the ocean, it is now expected to travel further off to the east. This is going to open up this region right here of lower wind speeds, which will act as a magnet to pull Hurricane Lee towards the United States. For now, I'm going to place about a 40% percent chance that Hurricane Lee will make a direct landfall in the United States, but this is probably going to go up in the coming days. As we get closer to the day that landfall could actually happen, the models will have more of an agreement and I'll be able to tell you more on this. Speaking of 40% chance, we need to talk about one more thing. We are in the peak of hurricane season. We are not going to see things slow down for at least another month. Off the coast of Africa, we have yet another West African wave that is going to pose some sort of tropical development threat in the next few days. Right here, we have Lee and Margaret, but also we have these areas of interest. The one that I'm I'm most interested in is this one right here. Yesterday, this had a 40% chance of development in the next seven days, and now it has a 60% chance of development in the next seven days. Most models are in agreement that this is going to become a hurricane and take almost the same path as Lee did, but we have to remember they're weather models. They don't know what's going to happen more than a couple days out, so there is a chance that this might pose some threat to anywhere on the east coast of the United States. As for now, there's not much more I can tell you about either of these systems. We're kind of still in that awkward period of waiting for model agreement, more observations, drastic changes in the storm's path. We just gotta wait. Because of this, I'll be back Wednesday when we've seen more development in Lee and we have a better idea of where it's gonna go, as well as any updates that may happen with this area of 60% interest. So you should probably subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you know when that video comes out so you can be informed. Well, that's all I have. Bye.